Tonight, seizing on hate. Top voices on the right exploiting the crisis in Afghanistan to stir up fear about Afghan refugees to the United States, even claiming it's simply an attempt to change the population of America for political gain. Tom Foreman is out front. All day, we've heard phrases like, we promised them. Well, who did? Did you? Did you? The torrent of intolerance is running hot. Bring in the refugees, they're screaming tonight. On conservative media, the internet, and in incendiary statements, the far right is torching the idea that America owes anything to those who helped U.S. troops through 20 years of war and who may now face deadly reprisals in their own land. Those who are advocating mass Afghan resettlement in this country are doing so for political, not humanitarian reasons. Advocates for refugees are hitting back. Stephen Miller never wore a uniform a day in his life. That guy doesn't represent America. He represents the worst of us. But the Afghan uproar fits so neatly into former President Trump's anti-immigrant stance, it appears irresistible for some. Never mind that Trump contradicted himself on the issue, releasing this statement Monday. Can anyone even imagine taking out our military before evacuating civilians and others who have been good to our country and who should be allowed to seek refuge? Then on Wednesday, this plane should have been full of Americans. America first. Among the more virulent posts, this one by a former Trump advisor showing that same image with a caption. Raise your hand if you want this plane landing in your town. Many big-name Republicans are actually raising their hands to help, welcoming Afghan immigrants to their states and creating a huge messaging rift in the party. We owe it to these people who are our friends and who worked with us to, to get them out safely. They helped our military members in their country, and now we stand ready to help them in ours. It is vitally important. It is our duty. We are eager. We will take them. There is no time to spare. It is the least we can do. Still, it is more than some can bear. So first we invade, and then we're invaded. It is always the same. This is one of the nastier and more open rifts we have seen in this party in quite some time. And that parade of big-name Republicans at the end really underscores it there. This issue is not going away anytime soon. This could last for months, maybe even years. Refugee issues often do. So this fight could just keep burning out there. Okay.